The race for our state's southernmost congressional district is heating up on the airways with one attack ad piquing interest for voters. We need serious police reform in this country. It's not just about defunding the police, it's about defunding a system. That ad claiming Democrat challenger Gabe Vasquez refusing to give a reporter his name when he was attending a Black Lives Matter rally. And tonight, Target 7's John Cardinelli gets to the bottom of these claims. Yeah, that's right, Shelly and Doug. Before we get into what is being said about former Las Cruces City Councilor Gabe Vasquez, it's important for us to explain what a super is. It's the tag you see right below me. It tells you, the viewer, my name and what I represent. A mistaken one super has created a lot of controversy in the race for New Mexico's 2nd Congressional District. This was the scene two years ago in Las Cruces, shortly after the death of George Floyd. Chanting no justice, no peace, and the names of recent African-American victims who were killed by police and what they call police brutality. El Paso ABC affiliate KVIA was covering a Black Lives Matter rally, and they interviewed then city councilor Gabe Vasquez, who was in attendance. This is what he had to say. We need serious police reform in this country. It's not just about defunding the police, it's about defunding a system that privileges white people over everybody else. Look closely. Vasquez's name doesn't appear in the super. It's someone else's. And earlier this month, the conservative website, the Washington Free Beacon, published this article accusing Vasquez of, quote, using a fake name to trash cops. Then this attack ad started to appear on the airways. And listen to what Vasquez said while refusing to give his identity. We need serious police reform in this country. It's not just about defunding the police, it's about defunding a system. We reached out to KVIA. They tell us that there was a technical error in which a super for James Hall appeared. The actual James Hall appears later in the story. They said there shouldn't have been a name attached because Vasquez, quote, presumably declined to give us his name. The station asked the Free Beacon to issue the correction. We reached out to the Congressional Leadership Fund. They paid for the ad. According to their website, they are a national political action committee dedicated to electing Republicans to the House of Representatives. In an email, they told us they stood by their ad and say that Vasquez refused to give his identity. So we asked the Vasquez campaign about that. They said when the reporter asked him if he would be willing to give his name, Vasquez said no. We've talked to our political experts about the important issues in this race. They tell us crime and support for law enforcement are two topics voters care about most. They also say it's likely this ad will hurt Vasquez no matter what the backstory is. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. And Vasquez's opponent, Yvette Harrell, has not mentioned the interview in any of her attack ads against Vasquez. She has criticized him for supporting the defund the police movement.